This series has got us all fired up. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fairy tale moments. <laughs> I can't believe it. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for great new content. For this list, we'll be looking at the most iconic moments to ever come out of this hugely successful fantasy anime. As such, be on the lookout for plenty of spellbinding spoilers down the line. How could you? And for such a petty reason! I'm Todd Habercorn, voice of Natsu Dragneel, and I'll be the voice of Animated Reason, taking you through all the magical moments from this series where it's okay to use a flying blue cat as a mode of transportation, and sometimes you have to fight fire with, well, fire. I know I've got a watch mojo fire in my belly, so let's get started. You're amazing. Number 10. Loxus returns. Let the old man die for all I care. He's nothing to me. Fairy Tail's resident lightning bolt is something of a bad boy. It's just a shame his rebellious stage involved throwing the guild into chaos and nearly frying Natsu to a crisp. While Loxus would eventually come to regret his actions, it still resulted in his expulsion, swiftly followed by a tear-jerking farewell between himself and his grandfather Makarov. You take care of yourself, okay, old man. Please just go! Of course, the Thunder Dragon was never going to stay hidden for long. After Hades took down his gramps, Loxus makes an epic return via a lightning headbutt. <laughs> we also have to give him extra credit for helping Natsu to achieve lightning fire dragon mode. That was awesome. <laughs> Number 9. Mira Jane Goes She-Devil what? You mean the sweet and caring Mira has a dark side? Surely not. Well, when her beloved brother is threatened, the gloves come off. Just as Thunder Legion member Freed is about to put an end to Elfman, Mira snaps and unleashes her own takeover. What's this? So much power. Who is she? <laughs> The result is her trading in her smile for something a little more satanic. You almost have to feel sorry for Freed on this one, as the elder Strauss sibling holds nothing back and proceeds to go on a demonic rampage, leading to a rather brutal defeat. Number 8. Reunited So, the time has come at last. From the very beginning, we were all made aware that the only parental connection Natsu had was with the dragon known as Igneo. The only problem was that he, along with all the other dragons, suddenly disappeared, leaving our favorite hot-headed mage with more than a few abandonment issues. Turns out that Igneo was closer than he thought, as during the scuffle with Acnologia, he reveals that he has been inside Natsu the whole time. In fact, I've been closer than you ever could have guessed. As you might have expected, their reunion involves a lot more shouts than hugs, but it's heartwarming nonetheless. <laughs> Number 7. Fairy Law This war between us has gone on long enough. Let's end this here and now! Word of advice, never mess with Grandpa Makarov. While initially put out of commission by the likes of rival guild Phantom Lord, the old geezer makes the mother of all comebacks when he steps into the ring to take on Guildmaster Jose. In order to save my guild, I will gladly take that risk! Understandably pissed that his beloved children were put in harm's way, Gramps busts out the fearsome spell known as Fairy Law. I invoke Fairy Law. Considering said spell was strong enough to one-hit KO Jose and put a stop to Phantom Lord, we'd say this moment easily reinforced why Makarov is the OG of mages. Number 6. Dragon Force But he should have known I'm not letting either of you leave this tower alive! Shut up! We've seen Natsu get fired up plenty of times over the course of this series, but nothing compares to the time he accessed his inner dragon. Atop the Tower of Heaven, Natsu's determination to save Urza from a Zeref possessed Jalal leads him to ingest Ethereum. While this would normally kill most people, it gives Natsu the boost he needs to transform himself into a humanoid dragon and finish the fight. No. 
This is followed by the ever so satisfying sight of him utterly destroying Jalal. But then again, what did he expect? He messed with Natsu's crew. You can do it, Jalal! Free yourself! <laughs> Number five, Natsu versus Guildarts. I'm coming for you, Guildarts! I got a heck of a lot stronger over the last three years, and I can't wait to show you! One of my personal favorites. While he seems to get stronger after every fight, there will always be mages leagues above Natsu's ability. A very small, small percentage, but nonetheless, they exist. Whoa, he shattered the ground to cushion the blow! One of them happens to be former fairy tale guildmaster and guy who loves walking through walls, Guildarts. Despite his laid back attitude, his strength is off the charts. So much so that he was able to shrug off Natsu's best attacks with ease. Yeah, you have gotten stronger. I'm proud of you, Natsu. The Dragon Sun. However, his most defining moment came when he showed off his true power in a display of such superiority that it forced Natsu to do the unthinkable. Surrender. Don't tell anybody. I... <laughs> accept defeat. Number four, Lazana returns. In spite of their quirkiness, the Strauss siblings for the better half of the series have been haunted by the death of their younger sister. However, much to everyone's jubilation, it turned out that Lazana wasn't killed, but rather sent to the parallel world of Edelus. I'm not suspicious, I'm a member of Fairy Tale 2! While it took some convincing, Lazana eventually returned with Natsu and the rest back to Earthland, leading to a reunion with Mira and Elfman that left many fans weeping in joy. Please don't ever leave us again, okay? <laughs> oh, don't cry, I'm here. What do you mean I'm crying? Todd Habercourt doesn't cry. <laughs> Number three, Urza versus 100 monsters. You don't seriously mean to challenge all the monsters at once, do you? We designed this event to be completed by multiple wizards. I don't care. Have we mentioned that Urza Scarlet is a badass? Because Urza Scarlet is a total badass. During the preliminary round of the Grand Magic Games, Urza decides to go all the way and earn Fairy Tail the maximum number of points by defeating a hundred monsters all at once. Does she accomplish this? Of course she does. Amazing! 99 dead! Only the F class monster remains! Cycling through her various armors and weapons, Urza's skills are on full display as she slices apart one creature after another. But what else would you expect from Titania? Fairy Tale Team A sweeps today's contest in an absolute undisputed victory! Number two, Natsu versus Sting and Rogue. My only target is Gashio. You beat me and you can take on whoever you want! It's a Dragon Slayer battle royale as fire and iron take on the combined strength of light and shadow. And what has to be the highlight of the Grand Magic Games, Natsu shows the new guys on the block that despite being out of commission for seven years, he's stronger than ever. Even when up against two Dragon Force users and a unison raid, Natsu still manages to overcome them with fierce determination and a serious amount of flames. Shadow Dragon, roar! Iron Dragon, roar! By far one of the series' most epic moments, it's just a shame that Gajio got shafted on the glory. But is it really? Let's do it again sometime! <laughs> Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Maybe you forgot, because I'm such a nice guy these days. But I'll make you remember your fear. Number one, return after seven years. It's hard to believe it's been seven years. Has it really been that long? Despite the battle with Acnologia ending on a rather cataclysmic note, we were all convinced that Natsu and company would easily find a way out of it. We were then proven dead wrong, as in truth, seven years had passed by, and Fairy Tail was now a shell of its former splendor, to the point where other guilds were muscling in on its territory. Stand down, Fairy Tail! <laughs> As heartbreaking as it was to see events turn out this way, the sudden reveal that the others had indeed survived and finally made their way home 
had us cheering our asses off. <laughs> Look who's back! Sorry to keep you waiting for so long! <laughs> As if they could kill off Natsu. Not on my watch. Everyone, welcome back! You're home! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.